Hey, it's Lee at Craftsman Direct, and we're at Durham this morning. And um, this is the house in question. I know that's hard to see because of the sun. Maybe that helped a little bit. There we go. And um, um, a hot water heater blew up. And uh, I know it was a southern hot water heater because it's a hot water heater. And, uh, and you know, folks up north, appropriately so, use the term water heater. But uh, I'm in the south, so I'm going to call it a hot water heater. And uh, I kind of want to give a perspective. We're going in the side door to the garage. There is a need for, I don't know, what do you think here? Um, the width is one, two, three. 20 feet so the sheets across is uh, that's five I think that's about eight feet straight down so uh, what's that five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen Fifteen, sixteen, almost twenty sheets of drywall to install here in the garage. Tape mud out till smooth, and uh, as a side item, let's put a uh, prime and two coats here on this garage. Color the customer's choosing, and let's keep walking because we got a lot to talk about. <laughs> uh, okay, now the dining room has sustained no damage. This is an easy one. Little foyer, no damage kitchen no damage second dining room no damage here is what I'm gonna call a family room that a strip on the ceiling for one piece of drywall select repairs like you can see here um, this run a second run we need a roll of crown here turn the corner to that corner bead and a select repairs on the ceiling um, that's what I see here. In addition, they've had carpet issues. And we don't do carpet, but let's see if we can get them into the hands of someone who can. Or, and one of the weird things is, their pad stops here. And it looks like they cut it out, which is the bad part. But um, <clears throat> A or B, we can keep it or we can replace it. I like to keep it because it's almost broad scale throughout the entire house. Um, this bathroom we didn't look at and I don't see anything here let's go to the second level and more carpet but uh, how about call it the master bedroom probably two three um, four five six seven eight nine ten pieces of drywall here to install baseboard shoe uh, full paint the room measures Did you see that one right there? it's about 15 I'm sorry ma'am right I didn't here's the foyer thank you I appreciate that so what was that 15 and that was one piece in the foyer on the ceiling by 15 and that's going to help with those measurements because we know those are 16 on center times 15 is two pieces. Um, closet, carpet. Here is a bathroom, I'm sorry, um, laundry room. And uh, probably uh, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of drywall install the insulation. And um, we'll quote vinyl. Blue on covering followed by vinyl the appropriate base probably I don't know we quote shoe but um what does this say um six by six by eight six by eight laundry room bathroom um blue on vinyl and uh this is a five by nine and uh we'll set the toilet and uh, two, two, three pieces of drywall on the ceiling, run the corner down, and uh, little tricky corners like we got back there. Full paint. Um, we'll need a light fixture of some kind. No, we won't. They've got these here.
Um, let's get going. Still level two. And here's the room that is uh, bedroom one, which is one, two, three, four pieces of drywall. Um, insulation. <clears throat> Good question. Let's get some help on it. Um, it's a climate controlled laundry room that way. So I don't know if you'd want insulation, sound or what have you. Um, the ceiling. And that's probably the baseboard for the remainder. So I don't know if we're going to be quoting new base. I don't know if we're not going to be quoting new base. Can we use the existing base? And let's maybe split 50 50 or a contingent quote. Um, the bedroom, too, looks good. And obviously, I goofed when I called that first one the master. But um, I don't know if you want to call this the master or bedroom three. Um, wall issue like this, it was a bad paint. So a line item of painting the master bedroom that measures 12 by 20. Um, we got the recessed ceiling. It's all white. Ceiling doesn't need painting. Or maybe it does. Um, the bathroom. And let's look at the tile. She'd like to match this. Okay. And I wanted to give you a shot of the pattern. Shot of the pattern. Um, if we've got ceiling paint and it matches and we can touch up little things like this. But those are almost non-issues. And uh, let's cut the lights off. Um, this house is covered with poor painting. And I do mean covered. Um, and keep in mind that the big picture is the gentleman needs to be able to sell the home. And uh, you know, it's uh, a foyer here and you see all the spots and stuff. Um, this foyer goes up. That won't be hard to paint because we can run a ladder kind of like this up that way. Get a good slope, make it safe. But um, maybe a line item to do a lap. And uh, it's, 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 it's issues with paint everywhere. Um, <clears throat> and let's uh, scoot up here. I don't think there's anything else to talk about. But uh, here again, let's make here. And uh, lights. There we go. Okay. Yeah, and that's where the hot water heater lives. And I know it's a hot water heater because I've been in Charleston since 16, well, not me, my family, since, what, 1680? And I think that makes me deep south. But, uh, anyhow, about that. I would think that this should be replaced. Um, so I'm going to maybe get the inspection report from our homeowner, find out exactly what needs to happen to keep that thing from busting again. Because I know he does not want that to happen. <laughs> What else can we talk about? Making sure we've got lights on. Um, I want to make sure, and uh, here again, I know that, uh, that Dee has suggested that uh, the homeowner has not seen this house in a while. And um, just to give him an opportunity to see his property, he is... Um, in, uh, in another state right now and um, make the suggestion that there's nothing here that's uh, oh my god and by that I mean that we don't have any structural failure it hasn't been sitting around there's no massive mold accumulation I haven't been in the crawl space but I might take a peek if I see anything extraordinary I'll run you another video and let you see what I see but um, man I've seen awful awful worse things in houses not that this is good but um, you know it's drywall and we can paint and we can drywall thanks so much